So the first chapter is the five gifts. Quinn's grandmother gave him five gifts for his birthday, his ninth birthday. They were very unusual gifts, and if Gwyn had not been the sort of boy he was, he might have been disappointed. Happy birthday, said his grandmother, turning her basket upside down. Gwyn stared at the objects on the kitchen floor. None of them wrapped in bright birthday paper. A piece of seaweed, a yellow scarf, a tin whistle, a twisted metal brooch, and a small broken horse. Thank you, Nine, said Gwyn, calling his grandmother the best name that she liked. Time to find out if you are a magician, Gwydion Gwyn, said Nine. A magician, Gwyn inquired. Time to remember your ancestors, Math, Lord of Gwynedd, Gwydion and Gilvaithwy. Who? The magician's boy. They lived here in these mountains, maybe a thousand years ago, and they could do anything they wanted, turn men into eagles and soldiers into dust. They could make dreams come true, and so perhaps could you. On special occasions, Nine often said peculiar things. Gwyn could not think of a reply. There has been an ache in this house since your sister went, said Nine. The ache of emptiness. You need help. If you have inherited the power of Gwydion, you can use it to get your heart's desire. She turned on her heels. I won't stay for tea. We've only just had breakfast, Nine. Nevertheless, she swept away down the passage through the open front door, her black hair sparkling in the golden mist that hung over the garden, her dress as gaudy as the autumn flowers crowding the gate. Then she looked back and sang out, Give them to the wind, Gwydion. One by one, and you'll see. Gwyn took the gifts up to his bedroom laid them on the windowsill. They looked the most improbable effects for a magician. What's she on about now? He scratched at his uncombed hair. From his tiny attic window he could see Nine's dark head bobbing down the mountain track. She travels too fast for a grandmother, Gwyn muttered. If my ancestors were magicians, does that make her a witch? His father's voice roared up the stairs. Have you done the chickens then, Gwyn? It's Saturday. What about the gate? The sheep will be in the garden again. Was that your grandmother? Why didn't she stay? Gwyn answered none of the questions. He gathered Nine's gifts together, put them in a drawer and went downstairs. His father was outside shouting at the cows as he drove them down the track to the pasture.